How can you combine these words with these words? For my students, it's often a big mystery. I'm here to make things clear. I'm John, and today we're going to study phrasal verb secrets. To cut up, Sophie and Mark are at a birthday party. They're getting ready to serve food. The cake looks delicious, doesn't it? Absolutely. It's making my mouth water. Everyone seems ready to eat. Do you think it's time? Yep. Remember that everyone should get the same size. Right. Hand me the knife, please. How many people are here? There are 10 people, so cut it up into 10 equal slices. Quiz time. What does to cut up mean? To serve food, to cut fast, to cut slowly, to divide into pieces. Please pause the video and answer the question. That's right, it's D, to divide into pieces. Up explanation. Up means a lot of things. It often gives the sense of completion in phrasal verbs, such as eat up, clean up, or finish up. However, when we put up with cut, it implies a division of something into smaller parts or pieces. For example, this person is cutting an orange. It's just the normal basic action of cutting. However, this person is doing something different. Yes, they're cutting the cucumber, but it's more natural to say cutting up because we can see it's divided into small pieces. Phrasal verb secrets. Cut up means to separate or divide something into smaller pieces. Cut is the action of using something sharp, like scissors or a knife, to divide or separate. Up, in this context, implies smaller pieces that were divided by the cutting action. For example, we usually don't cut up hair. Many more verbs can use up to imply division. Keep watching for more example verbs. Separation we can separate some phrasal verbs. We have to memorize the verbs we can separate. This is a very difficult skill to learn, and there's no easy way except practice. It's best to repeat what you hear and hope to learn naturally. We can separate the verb to cut up, and we do it often. Kate wants to cut up the fabric for her art project. The chef had to cut a lot of vegetables up for the meal. Verbs with up. These are verbs with similar meanings. Think of the word up as indicating division into small pieces or groups. Cut up, to divide into pieces or parts. Break up, to separate or to divide into smaller parts. Tear up, to rip or destroy 
by tearing. Divide up to separate into parts or portions. Chew up to break into smaller parts with teeth. Very important. These are not the only definitions of these phrasal verbs. There are many more, but we have to understand them in this context to build your understanding. Watch my video about take off to see what I mean. The link is in the description. Examples. Cut up. To divide into pieces or parts. This person is cutting up a tomato into small slices. For dinner, he cut up the vegetables into small pieces. The murderous villain in the horror movie cut up his victims. Break up. To separate or to divide into smaller parts. This person is breaking the cookie up into two parts. These two are breaking up. They're separating and are individual now, not together. She broke up the chocolate bar to share with her friends. The couple broke up due to minor disagreements. Tear up. To rip or destroy by tearing. This crazy man is tearing up this paper, maybe because he's angry. Upset by the news, he tore up the letter. The kids tore up their drawings after making a mistake. Divide up. To separate into parts or portions. The teacher divided these students up into different groups to work together. They divided up the tasks among the team members. The treasure was divided up equally among the pirates. Chew up to break into smaller parts with teeth. This baby is chewing up her food, which is extremely important for children. The baby had to chew up his food before swallowing. The dog chewed up the toy and now it's ruined. Thanks for watching and thank you channel supporters. If you have a question about phrasal verbs, leave it in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe, and see you in the next lesson.